Hey fam, welcome back to Tari's Lifestyle and Vlog and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about two major changes that have been introduced to the care, health and care worker visa. Okay, but before I go on, my name is Tari and on this channel, we'll talk about UK visas and immigration. We'll talk about life in the UK, how to safely and successfully travel to the UK. And we'll talk about how to navigate your life as an immigrant living in the UK. Now, if this sounds like something you're interested in, then please subscribe, turn on your bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my videos going forward. There's been a few changes and there's been speculation of other changes that are going that might come into effect in the next year or so. But today I'm going to be talking about two changes that I know are confirmed, okay? So the first one obviously is the increase in the health and care worker visa. The increase comes into effect from the 4th of October, which means that if you are applying for your visa before the 4th of October, the old amount still applies to you. However, from the 4th of October, if you are applying for a health and care worker visa, the new amount will apply to you. The, the, price, the amount is now, the cost is now increased, so the new cost will have applied to you. Okay, so what is the new cost and what's the old cost? If you are issued a sponsorship for less than three years, the amount you need to pay is £247. It used to be £247, but it's now going up to £284. Okay, so if your certificate of sponsorship is more than three years, maybe three years or five years, four years okay then the amount you need to pay has gone up from 479 pounds to 551 pounds this is the number one and change that we're talking about and again it comes into effect from the 4th of october okay so the second major change is the removal of the 20 hour cap for supplementary work if you are on the uk health and care worker visa so earlier this year some of you might know some of you might be aware some of you might not be the cap for 20 hours so if you if you have a certificate of sponsorship you have the job that you're doing you can do an extra 20 hours of supplementary work uh, however in january this cap was removed which means that anyone that's under the health and care worker visa can do as many hours as possible so this benefited the uk economy because they had more people on ground more hands on deck and also um, benefited the people as well the employees because they could get more money in their bank account however this has been removed which means that if you're going to do a, a, a supplementary work of more than 20 hours it's still possible you would have to update your visa so you need to inform the home office that you are doing another job which is a supplementary job that is more than 20 hours so that they can um, update your visa okay they will update it and then they'll send a new visa to you because with the law with the requirements at the moment you can only do 20 hours a maximum okay so if you're doing more you need to inform the home office and they will update your visa for you so there are some things that you need to do you need to write to them to let them know you need to have another employment letter and all of that another certificate of sponsorship as well and then they will update your visa for you okay so this is just these are just the two changes that i thought i'll talk to you about today i hope it's been helpful if that's helped you give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so okay if you have any questions any video suggestions please leave them in the comment section and i'll do my best to answer them for you but thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next video.